Hi, I'm Dale. I'm pretty horrible on camera, but I'm halfway decent in the shop. This is part two of a three-part series we're trying. We're going to compare and contrast CO2 versus C25 gas on a, on our, we're going to, hi, I'm Dale. I'm horrible <laughs> on camera. Today, we're going to do the second of a three-part series. We're going to compare and tra contrast CO2 versus C25 gas using our Lincoln, this is like a high-end hobby welder. This is a consumer grade Lincoln welder. It's a nice welder. I use it out on jobs quite a bit. It has been very good for me. I'm gonna put down some weld with the CO2 and the C25. We're gonna watch that and then we're gonna talk about it afterwards and see if there is a real difference. This is a lot of welding for this little welder. After welding with the Lincoln and the CO2 and the C25, I can tell hardly any difference at all. I, again, prefer the CO2. This is the second part of the series. I prefer the CO2. I can't tell any difference. I spent a lot of time adjusting for the C25 and the results are very, very the same. The C25, I don't think justifies the cost. The C25 per cubic foot is 34 cents a cubic foot. The CO2 is 12 cents a cubic foot. These, these prices are, in my area, that's retail prices. That's July of 2022. Um, the final results are both just decent little welds, not that big a deal. I'm going to wire brush each one of them just by hand real quick, knock them off, show them to you, see if there's any, see, you can tell me if there's any real difference. And that's the CO2. And that's the C25. Again, I don't think it justifies the cost. Let me know if you think there's any real difference, if there's something I'm definitely missing. Um, I know the weld supply shops really push you towards the C25. That's the standard gas now, and the CO2 is a, kind of an old school thing. If you have any um, questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll keep an eye on those. Um, like, share, subscribe, you know, do that YouTube thing. Thank you.